Good afternoon, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine, here with my partner Bob Teague. Which, uh, we were here in the Outer Limits booth at the 2022 Miami International Boat Show. We're with Dan Kleitz. Hey Dan, how are you? Good, Ray. Good. What's happening? Uh, just first day of the show, you know, it's been pretty busy this morning, so, uh, so far so good. We are standing in front of your beautiful new uh, SC-37. Yes. Uh, new lineup. Yeah, uh, so this is our new outboard cat uh, that we debuted last year. Uh, this one is actually built for kind of our famous customer, Vinny Diorio of uh, SV Offshore. Uh, he's owned a bunch of outer limits and, uh, you know, decided to go the outboard cat route. It's, uh, it's been a great boat for us so far. We got a, a bunch on order. Um, been very, very impressed. Uh, we worked together closely with Steve Curtis on the hull design. Um, so with his help, you know, we, we built a phenomenal boat that, uh, you know, should, should tackle anything you throw at it. What number is this? Uh, this one's number two. Okay. Uh, we have 11 currently on order. Wow. So what is the uh, construction technique on this boat? Uh, so this whole boat uh, is all carbon fiber. It comes standard carbon. Uh, you can't option to get it any other way. Uh, it's all composite, all foam core, just like all our boats. Um, it's all epoxy like all our other boats as well and all post-cured. I believe we're still the only manufacturer to actually post-cure the epoxy boats. Uh, that's when we actually do put the hull index in an oven and actually cook them. Uh, that really helps get the full strength out of the epoxy and, and help limit any print through or shrinkage you have because of that and like the really hot uh, climate such as California or Florida, you know, on your $100,000 plus paint jobs. So no one likes to see that. Well, so this 37 foot boat, um, people are going to say, well, all that high tech construction was a weight. Uh, weigh, this one came out at 5,370 pounds. Um, so the pleasure boat that's pretty light. It's pretty light, and that's yeah. with the outboards on it, brackets, propellers, the sea deck, the interior. You know, it's completely rigged boat, uh, just drive. Right, so it'd be about the same weight as a race boat without all that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we had the, uh, the pleasure to shoot your first one in yes. Key West, and it looked beautiful, and uh, you know, you. prepared a video for you. And uh, what, uh, what top speed have, have you guys seen in, in this model? Uh, so, so far, uh, we've run 131 miles an hour with the first one uh, on the rev limiter uh, with some Mercury propellers. Uh, Mercury's building up some new propellers right now uh, that we're gonna run on this one. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident by the time we're done dialing in, this boat here should probably run 135 miles an hour under, you know, optimum conditions, you sure. know, with the, with the output power, so. Okay, so I see you have a 29 here too. Yeah, we got a brand new SV29 here uh, with a single Mercury Racing 565 uh, that we built for prominent uh, high performance boater Bob Barnhart out of Canada. Um, it, no one believes it's his boat because it's red instead of blue. Uh, all his Predator boats are always blue. Um, so it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. <laughs> no, no, this one is his. Uh, I believe he's coming down on Friday to take a look at it for the first time. So uh, yeah, great boat. Uh, came out incredible. Uh, great Stephen Miles designs paint job that we actually executed in house at Outer Limits. Uh, great interior. Uh, great power package. So it, they're just a, a phenomenal boat to run and drive. And I've seen these things on the water, and they handle the rough stuff so incredibly. They well. do. It's it's the best 29 footer on the market. Yeah. So. Well, they started out, I think this boat actually started out as a race boat. Okay. We Pretty did. Much. We, we right. built a pleasure boat, uh, then we built the race boat, yeah, right. for Doc Jansen originally, and him right. and Brian Forehand ran right. it, and now Brian Forehand owns it, and uh, I believe he's going to be racing. He's definitely racing again this year, and I think Vinny's going to join him uh, in the cockpit again, and uh, I think it's probably one more, in the time span it's been on the course, one more Super V-Light races than anyone. So uh, It was... Uh, Really, I remember it was one of those boats that got penalized weight-wise. It some did, point. Yep. <laughs> Too oh, many be, steps, the word, the word is fast. over competitive. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so also, we yeah, have, we got uh, you know, the biggest boat in our lineup. We got a SL52 here uh, with Mercury Racing 1100 slash 1350s. Uh, in the 1350 mode, it runs 137 miles an hour. Uh, so it's a big, fast V-bottom, and it's and it's fully loaded. It's got generator, air conditioning, TV, full head, V-berth, galley coolers, sinks, uh, big stereo, dual GPSs, you name it, it's got it. Um, so for a boat that big, you know, to go that fast, is I mean, we're still the fastest V-bottom in the world. So. so 
Um, how many are still being built like this, that size? I mean, thankfully, more? I mean, we're, we're really busy right now, so we can't complain. Um, we got a, a good handful of, of 50 V-bottoms on order right now, and as well as our, our 46 catamarans. So we got to keep the stern drives alive. I mean, these outboards are great, but I mean, there's still nothing like the stern drives. <laughs> I think I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a uh, the fit and finish as usual on the uh, outer limits is amazing. Thank you. Um, we're looking for the opportunity uh, to you know um, run a 37. Definitely. Point. No, I think you'll be very and, uh, impressed. And you know we wouldn't mind running the the, the big boat too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, amazing stuff. Fit and finish is just over the top. Nice. Thank you, thank you. No, we got a great team back at the shop, and uh, we just try to make the next one, you know, the best we can. Dan, what's uh, what's been your most popular uh, boat in the lineup? Um, really, over the last, I mean, year or so. I mean, the the outboard cat has taken off. I mean, this is a hot segment. I mean, we had a, a slew sold before we even released it. Sure. Um, so you know, everyone had confidence in us to build them a boat. You know, especially like Vinny and uh, the owner of boat number one, Steve Rack. Um, you know, we didn't even have anything built, and, and they ordered boats because yeah. you know we usually uh, we usually deliver. Uh, well, with your collaboration with Steve Curtis, I mean, you can't ask for a better. Uh, yeah, you know. it's a win-win. You know, Steve's right. one of the you know best uh, you know offshore boat racers of all time. You know, just like Bob Teague over here, and <laughs> so no, we couldn't ask for a better partner than, than Steve right. uh, to work with our, our catamaran program on. And we're actually uh, coming out with a new eight-seat deck version of our 46 cat. Um, Nice. Later this year, maybe Miami Boat Show next year. Um, so we're really excited about that. Actually got a few of those sold already too. Uh, that's going to be an awesome boat. So look forward to getting that one out here. Very cool. So Dan, with this being your, your, your newest and latest uh, model, how long is the, the build time if someone, someone was going to order one here at the show? Right now, depending on time, that's a year and a half to two years, you know, depending wow. on certain options and paint jobs and, sure. and models and stuff. So. Um, you know, we're hiring. Anyone out there looking to build boats, just like the rest of the world. So yeah. everybody's hiring. Exactly. Right. It's crazy. So in the V bottom line, uh, what's the most popular big V bottom? Uh, right now, it's we. To be honest, the last few years we had a great run of 52s, and now we got quite a few 50s uh, in production. Right now, we got a sta both stand up and sit down 50s. Uh, right. So we're building another SV50. We haven't built one of those for a few years. Uh, one of my personal favorites. I I love sitting down. Um, and then we got a, a couple stand-up 50s that are just flat out. None of the fast. 43s, nothing in that range. Uh, I got a new 44th 1100s right. uh, that's going on right now too. That's uh, moving into final rigging actually as we right. speak. Uh, we're finishing up a new 41 with 700s and number sixes. Actually, that will be uh, tested in the next couple weeks. Um, we got another 29 without boards coming down the line too. So we, we got a yeah, 46 canopy cat. We got another one of those to build. So wow. we got a nice wide variety of stuff at the moment. Kind of one in every category. Yeah. So oh, that's awesome. Well, Dan, I mean, you've been part of Battle Limits for such a long time, and uh, you've been carrying on the Mike Fiore uh, legacy. So I'm sure he's proud of you. And this is amazing stuff you have on the floor. Thank um, you. Put you on the spot. What's your favorite boat in the lineup? Oh God, that's a tough question. Uh, I've always been a V-bottom guy my whole life. Uh, I love the, the sit-down 50s are, are just incredible. Uh, but slowly getting more and more in time in these cats and running them around. And, and, and with Steve Curtis, you know, yeah. you don't got a better teacher than that showing you how to, how to run cats. And so, I don't know. It, it, it's torn, but <laughs> right. for easeability, I think a sit-down 50. SV50 with 1350s slash 1550s, you know, it's... So you have expensive taste is exactly what you're saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Right. very expensive, yeah. yeah. Well, Dan, beautiful display. Great seeing you here again under the, uh, under the roof here at yeah. the Miami <laughs> International Boat Show. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank this you is guys. Ray Lee and Bob Teague with Speedboat Magazine signing off.